ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Shoutcraft Invitational! My name is Total Biscuit, bringing you the mighty, mighty, mighty... Mouse Sports Mana! He's in the green trunks and he is playing Protoss to the north of this particular map. And bear in mind, he was not supposed to be in this tournament. He is teammate Hazelwobs. Another Protoss was supposed to be there. Hazelwobs had to pull out at the last minute. Mana has come in to replace him. And against who, you might wonder? Against one of the most terrifying Terran in the world. His nickname is the Destroyer. I personally would call him the Terratron. You may know him as... Empire Cuts! He is in the yellow trunks and he is playing Terran to the east of the Metalopolis right here. Oh yes. Should be interesting. I'm really looking forward to this matchup. Cass is such a beast. But then again, so is Mana. Mana has a really strong TVP action going on. I haven't actually cast Mana in a best of five for quite a while. The last time I cast Mana in a best of five was against Jinro. But you want to know who won that game? Mana. Convincingly, I might add. 3-1. Oh my. He played well. The question is, can he beat Kass? We will find out. Kass has been doing unbelievably well recently. He is an absolute dominant beast in online tournaments. He's one of three players in this tournament who really, generally speaking, only play online tournaments. Kass is one of it. Kass is one. And Stefano is another. And Nurcio is another. Those three guys in our tournaments against experienced land tournament players like White Ra, Moro, Mana, of course. Mana, that's another difference between the MLG, yeah. I don't blame him. There's tons of versions of this bloody map. ESL, TSL3, GSL, TL. Like, it is incredibly confusing. It really, really is. Kass with the knowledge bomb right there. Thank you very, very much. Yes, Lado has close air positions. This only has cross and air positions. It's just a matter of consistency. I mean, we can never really find a happy medium between the two. So it's like, well, we'll go for the MLG versions. At least then you know well in advance what you're getting. And Empire Cars taking a lesson from Cloud's book right there with a very fast expansion coming in. The question is, can he defend it? And what will the response be from Mana? Mana with a standard opening. No big surprises right there. Boosting out of Stork and try and deal with that. He's already got two gas coming up. And you'll also notice this is a no-gas build from Cass, which is very, very common for any Terran that is looking to fast expand. They will not build the refineries. They will not pick up the gas until later. They'll rely on marines and bunkers for defense, which honestly works pretty well. There's nothing wrong with that at all. There'll be a two barracks here. Now into a three barracks for Cass, and still no sign of gas. This is going to be unbelievably marine heavy for very obvious reasons. Cleans up the probe, and there's first blood. Actually, is it first blood? No. I think that Mano actually picked off one. No, he didn't. Somehow, Cass managed to escape that. I'm not really actually sure how, but there you go. There he is. That SCV is still up. Stalker with a little bit of initial harassment. A couple of SCVs coming down the line right here. Mana making his way to the base. He takes one. Looks to take a second. He might even be able to pick off one, but Cass, of course, his micro is strong. Strong like bear. But that will not happen. And a fourth barracks coming up right there. How much information did Mana get? He hasn't seen the fourth barracks right now. He might. He picks off another marine. Two kills right there, but he will finally lose this, and he gets great scouting information in the process. And this is a four barracks, just marine approach from Cass right here. An expansion coming up for Mana as well, and a second and then a third gateway. This build supports both early defense and early pressure. It's very, very nice. A fifth barracks coming in right here from Cass. Still, it's a no gas build. You can see it, no gas at all, purely marine. And what it may do is catch Mana off guard. However, I wouldn't be so sure, because Mana did spot those, and now looking for four gateways. Does it mean a four gateway attack? It might. It's around the timing for it. Does he have the money to support it? He's getting there. Does he have map control to support it? He does. Will Cass be able to hold it without any bunkers, with just marines? Could be dicey. However, I don't think Cass is going to wait around for this. Cass is on his way out, and by the looks of it... Mana might even end up getting his probe sniped off right here. Cass going in with two SCVs. This is going to be a very aggressive bunker play by the looks of it. He misses that. So that probe is still there. He could come in behind this with some kind of four gateway attack. But I don't think that's going to happen. He's going to have to hold this line. It's going to be very, very difficult. 
Mana with a great micro right here. Keeps all of the stalks alive. He's got one on the ridge as well. Look at this. This is absurd. The amount of damage he's been able to do to those Marines as they come across here and only losing one Stalker in the process. Excellent player. Now Cass has been neutered and he lost, I might add, his incoming SCVs. Cleaned up so elegantly there by Mana. What a great play. Excellent, excellent play there by Mana. And it was just so beautiful when you looked at it. It really, really was. Excellent micromanagement on the Stalkers right there, as you very clearly saw. Picking off the SCVs, doing as much damage for bare minimal losses, and then in come the sentries to help clean it up. And now here comes the counter-attack. Cast should have the marine count. The sentries are not with him, so he doesn't have that guardian shield. A lot of firepower raining down right now, but still, Mana's micromanagement is looking good. He's looking very, very good. He keeps one alive. He finally loses that, but Cast is actually getting crushed unbelievably. This defense is going to be difficult. Mana is doing incredibly well right now. As I said, he's got such strong Terran versus Protoss play. Mana defeats that. More marines coming down the ramp. That's a lot of production facilities right here. We are looking at the eight racks approach, entirely standard. Still no gas. It's all marine all the time. And this is going to be really difficult to hold, considering that Sentry's now up. It's got the energy for Guardian Shield. Mana is in a great position right now. Oh, look at that. Great block off. It was to be expected. There's the Sentry. There's the Guardian Shield. And a quick cleanup right there, pulling off the line. This is going to be difficult to deal with right now. Cast is forced to pull all of his SCVs. And that economic advantage is rapidly dwindling. We can check the army count size right now, but I'm more interested in watching this goddamn fight, because look at this! Unbelievable micro right here from Mana. Cars pushing him back, but this is desperate. Bunker's finally going down at so late, and it won't help, because that SCV's getting picked off immediately. I bet it Cass wishes he got bunkers up earlier because there are more stalkers on the way and I really don't see how Cass can hold this. He's trying as best he can, but the micro is amazing for Mana. Mana's efficiency is unbelievable. Only 11 units killed by Empire Cass to 63 for Mouse Mana. Mouse Mana into the natural expansion and no defense available. Cass, will he GG or will he try and fight this? More barracks coming up right now. GG, ladies and gentlemen, Mana takes the first game in his best of five series after the early marine aggression is thwarted by some of the most elegant stalker play I've ever seen. We'll be right back in just a few short moments, folks, with the next game. Don't go anywhere.